Hey guys, it's Rose Hands. Um, I don't really have an intro because I've never made a video like this before and I'm a little awkward on camera. Cue eye contact compilation. <laughs> but today I went to all the pet stores in my area, uh, including PetSmart, Petco, a more local one called Pets Plus, and Walmart. And I thought that it would be cool to make a little video showing you guys what I got. I just got back from vacation, I've been away for two weeks, so I'd say within the next week or two I have to do another full cage clean out for Noodle. I will be making a video of me cleaning that out and setting it back up, it'll be another natural cage theme. So today I got a bunch of new stuff to put in that natural cage theme. Alright, the first place I went was PetSmart. I didn't film much because I worked there and I felt really awkward filming, especially because my manager was putting things away in the aisle that I was in. The first thing I got there was some KT Clean and Cozy. I got this big old 49.2 liter bag. I usually mix this and Aspen for the main substrate. Um, this holds really good burrows and my guy likes it a lot. Um, so that's what I usually get when Carefresh isn't on sale. Carefresh is better for odor control, but KT Clean and Cozy is soft. The next thing I got was this bag of Repisand. I found it online for pretty cheap, so I got to price match it and saved a bit of money. But it is the all-natural terrarium sand. Uh, this is totally safe for hamsters. Just avoid calcium sand and anything dyed. I also got these little lounging logs, which is just a bendy bridge. It's quite large, too. Um, I've never gotten this size before, so I thought I'd pick it up um, and add it to the natural cage. The next thing I picked up were these pinecone chews from All Living Things. Um, I've never used anything like this, the noodle, before, so I thought I'd try it out to see if he likes it. And the last thing I got from PetSmart was this bag of uh, Timothy hay, because I've seen other people like Victoria Rachel use this as part of the burrowing substrate. I've heard that it holds really nice burrows. But I think I'll use this uh, by putting layers in with the KT Queen and Cozy in my next cage cleaning and see if Noodle likes to make his burrows with it. The next place I went to after PetSmart was Petco. I usually go to Petco to get natural wood pieces just because PetSmart doesn't really have a big selection of that. Uh, but while I was there, I picked up a cork round. I've seen a lot of people use these as little natural tunnels, so I thought I'd try it out because I never have. Um, but there seems to be quite a bit of cobwebs in there. You probably can't see it, but I'll definitely be cleaning it out before I use it. But I did find this online for like $6 and I ended up saving like $6 on it. So I definitely recommend price matching when you can. The other thing I got from Petco is just this piece of Mopani wood. Um, I just thought it was an interesting shape so I picked it up. And I also found it online pretty cheap so I got to save some money on that. Again, always price match when you can. It is kind of heavy so I definitely will only be putting it on a part of the cage that he can't burrow underneath. Um, just because I don't want him to get hurt. The next place I went to was Pets Plus. Pets Plus is more of a local kind of chain, I guess. Um, definitely not as widespread as PetSmart or Petco. They carry a lot of different stuff from both Petco and PetSmart. A lot of brands that you don't see at either of those places. Um, so I like to go there sometimes. I don't usually get a lot, uh, but I did get this little 
a corn and sisal ball from the brand Farmer's Market. I've never seen anything like this before. It's just a solid ball of wood wrapped with corn husk and then has sisal string at the bottom. But yeah, I'm just gonna try it out and see if Noodle likes it. In addition to different products, they also had a couple different variations of common animals that you don't see very often. They had a really cute curly haired guinea pig and a couple of other guinea pigs too. And there was actually a hairless hamster, which is the first hairless hamster that I've seen in real life. The last place I went to was Walmart. I don't usually go to Walmart when I'm looking for pet supplies, but I saw Pickles Pets video showing that Walmart got some new stuff, so I decided to swing by. It didn't look like my Walmart really stocked any of the new stuff, um, but they are one of the only places that I've seen actually carry Rosewood products in store. They only have two at the place that I go to, um, just the nature salad and this little trio of fun balls that I got. I don't know, I thought I'd just pick it up because I was there, and I've never used a ball with this texture before, so maybe Noodle will like it. But yeah, that's about it for the video. I hope you enjoyed watching me be a little awkward on camera. I, I know I say um a lot, and I have problems with keeping my eyes on the camera. Um, but I hope you enjoyed anyway. I got a crappy tripod on Amazon, so I was able to make this video, and hopefully in the next couple weeks make a cage cleaning video. Um, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.